Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm in Flagstaff, Arizona. It's almost June. I gotta show you this. I am camping with a bunch of my friends up here in the mountains. Been here for a few days. Can you see this? We got Dana and the kids, Steve, full tiny house. We got my friends Frank and Tammy. Ed and Sue. Can't see them from here, but there's Romeo and a Prevo behind me. Look at this. Unbelievable. It's almost June. Needless to say, I'm not worried much about air conditioning. Can't even see the mountain up there. Now, Ed took me up in his uh, Lincoln Navigator yesterday. It's a 4x4. He went up to the top, like 10,000 feet in elevation, something meadow. I made a Patreon video of it. I can't remember the name of it right now. But uh, it's a sight to see. <laughs> Here's 90, 95 degrees in Georgia right now. <laughs> Close this door. Babies and I just have now got up. Baby Make May, she's got on her leopard, leopard dress. Morning, Martini. It's too early for me to be talking. <laughs> Baby May and Me and Tucker, they like to eat together sometimes. It's kind of their thing. Right now, I'm eating my breakfast burritos. Got my coffee. I've been running my little buddy heater stay warm at night i'm out of propane i gotta go into town and get it filled because we're gonna have a few days of cold weather here what else what else i got a bunch of uh stuff for my solar here more boxes up there more boxes in the bedroom yeah i just can't get over that that pretty jingle bells jingle bells now to put on my hat if i could have found it <laughs> i wanted to run out and catch that snow so i don't know where my hat's at so we're gonna just have to put up with this this is looking a lot better isn't it <laughs> but uh pulled out of alpine went back through sholo picked up some mail went up through snowflake that's where we had the flea market video of the kittens and the ducks and the dogs and old trucks and church bells. And came up here and met my friends um, here in Flagstaff. But as I, I left 8,500 feet in Alpine, 7,000 feet, Sholo. And coming back up to Flagstaff, I think Flagstaff is 7,000 feet. Well, anyway, I went down around 4,000 feet in elevation, 3,000. Air conditioner on this Class A quit, my Dash AC. <laughs> and uh, getting kind of warm, coming up 40. But yesterday, uh, it's just easier to show you and talk to you. They're going to eat my egg burritos if I don't get them up. Yep. It's just easier to show. Just easier to show you. Look at this ground here. Little tiny black cinders everywhere. And just like that, the snow quit. This is an off-road vehicle area. Look at this 
coach behind me here, the Prevo Marathon. This guy has built a custom rack on top of his Prevo. Uh, he has over 4,000 watts of solar up there. And he bought a Tesla, a wrecked Tesla electric car. Took the batteries out of it. He's just now putting it together. It's the most incredible solar on any RV I've ever seen. But anyway, so my air conditioner quit working. Right now I have my solar panels out. <clears throat> Not doing much good today. So here's the engine compartment. I'll open the hood up to hook up my solar the other day so I just started looking around. Uh, if you've got a class A and your air conditioning quits, where was it at? Where were these? Here it is. This wire right here was disconnected. And I think it's a temperature control of some sort. I'm not sure. But right on those bumpy roads over there, uh, Springerville and Eager, headed up to Alpine, shook it loose. I plugged that back up, and my dash air conditioning went back to ice cold. I mean, ice cubes were coming out of the, the vents, and I could have hung meat in there and stored it. So if that happens to you, just saying, but I've got to go into town this morning. I want to get a haircut. I need to pick up a printer. I want to run by Arizona Wind and Solar. And uh, need a solar light for the outside. A few other things. I need to get some gas too. Uh, I've got a feeling it's going to be cold for a few days. If that's the case, I'll be running the generator more. And I pulled in here with a half tank. Uh, you have to realize that once most motorhomes, Class A's and Class C's, uh, once your fuel level gets to a quarter tank, they cut off. They do that so you won't leave the generator on overnight and get stranded. You go to crank your truck, and you'll have a gas to run it. So the pickup tube for the generator doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the fuel tank. I understand that. It's a smart smart concept and it works but I need some fuel I think I checked it it was 313 a gallon up here are we leaving we're gonna leave in a little bit martini I just cut the heat off you're already cold is this pretty cold outside daddy I like my dress a lot I like that dress too baby so pretties. So pretties. Mm -hmm. I thought we left this at Luna Lake Campground. The green squeaky bone. We had the purple tore up bone. And I went back, looked all around the campsite. Went back to another campsite. Couldn't find it. This monkey right here. She was trying to get something inside the bed. She could. She knew where it was the whole time, but she wouldn't tell me. That's right. I made you work for it. All right. I'm gonna clean up. Get my day started. Man, I'll bite this old bone. I'll bite it. Tucker, you are the best company in the world. Taking my bird bath this morning with my baby wipes. Uh, still, the van habits die hard, but I like conserving water. I'm taking a half a gallon to a gallon shower every three or four days. And I'm still using the vinegar and still using the baby wipes. I just feel really, really clean that way. I don't have to worry about filling up my gray tank and doing my part to conserve water. But uh, 
Do you remember when I tripped over that telephone pole they used for boundaries around the campsite at Alpine Divide? Well, that's been several weeks ago, and I showed you my foot, my leg. I'm so lucky I didn't break it. I've done some kind of damage, but I'm just taking it easy. But uh, I think I'll show you what it looks like now. Here's the top of my leg, top of my foot. It's been a couple weeks. I haven't picked at it or anything, but this whole leg was yellow. Look here at my heel. I'm darn lucky I didn't break anything. Now I went out and I had my light here. I'm going to have to do a review of this light and show you what it's like outside. It's incredible. $65 at Walmart. Rechargeable. Get you one. Get you two. You can charge your cell phone with it. Pretty darn incredible. I'm going to get one more. But uh, had my light out. Went out to let these numbskulls right here. Hey, who are you talking to? Who are you calling numbskull? I'm calling you a numbskull. You get Tucker, won't you lick my wounds? You know what dogs are supposed to do? Man, you taste funny. Get over there. But uh, I'm lucky I didn't break nothing. Or maybe I did. It's been quite painful. But, uh, yeah, buddy. You gotta be careful out here. Can't prepare for everything. But I got lucky, guys. Somebody's looking out for me. I'm looking. I'm looking out for you. It's not who I meant, Tuck. You still taste funny. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Got my glasses on so I can see. So here I am, mid bath. I don't want to talk. <laughs> yeah, I'm a redneck. I earned it. Three decades working outside in the sun. That's right. That's a real Georgia redneck for you. And I'm proud of it. Just if you call me a redneck, smile when you say it so I know you, you're not trying to be mean. <laughs> but uh, let's talk about living in a class A a little bit. We're not gonna go to town in this video. We're gonna do something else. Still can't find my hat. I'm not saying, I'm just saying hat. It's in here. Yeah, uh, I like living in my Pro Master. I could go right back. But these dogs, my wolf pack, they're so much happier. And I'm really digging the room too. Uh oh, arm slip. But just like that little, uh, air conditioner thing coming loose cause probably rough roads the weight or the wires bouncing it pulled one loose you know there are a lot more systems in here in the ProMaster if something broke I could just throw it away and get me another one except the refrigerator it's lose a lot of money but it was under warranty so I got all these systems I had to prop my phone somewhere else I had to prop my phone up here on top of the back of the seat, the captain's chair. But there's so many systems here that can go wrong. Gosh, this Prevost behind me, he's got three miles of wire in there. It's a beauty. Can you imagine what one mouse, the damage he could do in there, three miles of wire? That's a million dollar coach. Back here in the boonies. Uh, fantastic nice guy that owns it but you know what driving up here and the air conditioner goes out I was upset for about 15 seconds and then I was like you know what I, I'll, I'll, I'll get it fixed if it needs a new compressor dryer lines the whole kit and caboodle I'll just fix it.
I'm not going to go into my finances because I think a lot of that should be kept private. But I want to help people. So I'm going to say this. You can't come out here in full time without a repair budget, cushion. Don't come out here. Don't come out here if you can't do it. Got a buddy of mine that's got a an older Class C. He loved it. He just put a new engine and transmission in it. It's big money. To tow these things is big money. I have a $10,000 kitty set aside for this RV I think it's worth it so whatever happens is just gonna happen and I'm gonna deal with it when it breaks and I was thinking as I was driving up here you know I don't want to let that steal my joy you know it's gonna break I've had brand new four-door diesel dually Lariat trucks I bought back in 2000, 2001. Didn't do anything but stay up on the lift. <laughs> Brand new truck. You, you don't know. But if you, if you come out here and you're not prepared, you're gonna, it's gonna cost you, you're gonna pay a lot. And if you can't get, if you, if you don't have that kind of budget set aside, then if you're gonna live in an RV, you're gonna have to stay static. at least have half of that to be realistic if you don't have five thousand dollars to keep up your either your pool truck or your class b or your class c or your class a don't 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 you gotta have it so the things that i've done to make myself more comfortable is that i double checked with my insurance company and made sure that see I made a mistake with this uh, window up here I thought full coverage meant glass coverage too not with the company I'm with I called them up turns out for five dollars more a month I could have glass coverage and I couldn't I couldn't say take my money fast enough um, I've also got towing on it I also have good Sam's uh, roadside assistance, towing, lockout, uh, tire replacement, gas. Uh, they even have a, a number you can call if you're having a mechanical trouble, I believe. Uh, you get a few cents discounts at the Flying J. It cost me $150 for this rig. So I have towing actually twice. So one won't pay, the other will, I hope. Because to tow this thing, get up thousand two thousand dollars I know how that sounds I know that's ridiculous but that's just the reality of it so you gotta cover the bases the best you can you know you got to keep your rig maintained if you buy on a rig you got to be really really careful have it checked out and know from the get-go it's going to break and it's usually it's not going to break down sitting in your driveway or sitting in your hometown all my stuff always breaks somewhere else but uh, of course I'm full time now so it but anyway that's what you got to do and uh, don't let fear steal your joy but be prepared the best you can okay Tucker did we miss anything he says don't wake me up Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna end this little video before it gets too long. Uh, go into town and get these things taken care of. Okay, say it with me. Let's end this little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. Did you enjoy my video? If you did, can you give me the thumbs up? very much appreciate it. Did you know the more thumbs up I get and the more comments I get, the more YouTube shares my videos with new people, it helps the channel grow. 
Are you a subscriber? You should subscribe. Hit the little notification bell underneath this video if you're on a computer. That way, as soon as I put out a video, ding. Now they go again. Ding. You'll know about it. You'll get notified. But uh, all right, gotta go. See you later. Bye. -bye.